damage. The metric that everyone strives to get as high as possible. The amount you deal can and will dictate the outcome of all your games. We have lots of ways of dealing damage, each ability performing this task in its own way. So, today, I bring a question. Just how much damage can we do? First things first, we need to find our best method of dealing damage. All heroes are capable of this, each with their own methods of doing so. Most can also land critical hits, doubling the damage. For our test today, we're looking for something that deals the most in one shot, not by DPS. Some heroes have abilities that deal damage, but most of them cannot land critical hits. Some have different critical damage modifiers. Kiriko, for example, normally deals 40 damage, but she deals triple damage if she lands a headshot. Reinhardt can land a critical hit with Earth Shatter if the target is close enough, multiplying damage 2.4 times. Hanzo has excellent DPS as well as one-shot potential, dealing up to 250 damage. Widowmaker is another hero with a different critical damage multiplier. She deals 2.5 damage on headshot. Sombra has a unique way of dealing damage. Her EMP deals 40% of current health of its target, 280 in this case. Sigma has a similar attack. Gravitic Flux deals 50% of max health of its target, dealing up to 525 if the target is a Winston using his ultimate. Both Sombra and Sigma cannot be damage boosted, however. Did you know that Bastion can actually headshot during his ultimate? Although very unlikely, if you land a headshot, you'll deal 600 damage to the target. D.Va's ultimate, Self-Destruct, can deal a whopping 1000 damage if the target is close by to the detonation, capable of killing nearly every hero at all times. This cannot be damage boosted either though. Finally, we have Cassidy with his Deadeye. Upon full charge, Deadeye can deal up to 1560 damage. This is the highest we can go, so Cassidy will our damage dealer. Additionally, we have some heroes that can provide boosts to our damage. Baptiste's ultimate gives a solid 100% damage boost to shots fired through the field. Mercy can damage boost a teammate to increase their damage by 30%. Zenyatta can apply a debuff onto enemies, increasing their damage taken by 25%. Finally, Ana can use nano boost to increase the damage of an ally by 50% for 8 seconds. There is one more method we can use to boost our damage a little bit further. Echo can duplicate an enemy hero and use their abilities for a short time. This basically gives us another Baptiste to work with. The reason we dupe Baptiste is simply because he has the strongest boost available. With all this information, it's time to put it all together. Under normal conditions, that being two supports and no duplicates, our best support roster is Baptiste with Zenyatta, and an Echo to duplicate an opposing Baptiste. Putting this all together, our grand total should equal to around 5,814. It could be a bit higher, but Deadeye at full charge is a little bit finicky. And just in case you wanted to know, this is how fast we could kill a full health team with Deadeye if we had no hero restrictions. Nice. But fortunately for us, we can do better than that. In Overwatch, we are able to make our own custom games. Here, we have a handful of options to modify our damage. The two types of changes we can make being hero settings and workshop settings. First, we will check out hero settings. There are two main things we can change here. The first setting is damage dealt, normally at 100%. Simply put, we can modify how much damage a hero deals, up to 500% or times 5 the original damage. Additionally, we can change how much damage a hero receives. For simplicity, it will also increase our damage by 500%. Moving on to the workshop settings, we can increase damage dealt by 10,000% or times 100 the original damage. Likewise, we can do the same thing to damage received, another 10,000%. We have one more setting in the workshop, damage modification. This can change how much damage you deal to specific targets. This can go up to 1,000 or times 10 the original damage. This is nice and all, but what happens if we combine them all? Do one of them overwrite the other, or does something else happen? I would assume the workshop settings overwrite any other settings, but interestingly, this is not the case at all. All boosts stack, and instead of multiplying the original number multiple times, it multiplies it all at once, leading to some crazy numbers if we use the rest of the boosts. But this does lead to a new unforeseen problem.
because we have insanely high damage now, one shot from literally anything is enough to kill our bullet sponge, even after max custom buffs. This problem forces our testing to be continued with theoretical means, but fortunately, we have a solution. Since we cannot increase his health anymore, we only need to replace our bullet sponge with a different one. And oh boy is this bullet sponge a chonka. Diva has an interesting set of bugs that we can use to our advantage here. The following bug was found by fellow Overwatch YouTuber Marbor. Full credit to him for this discovery, the original video as well as his channel is in the description. I won't go into full details of how this glitch works, all you really need to know is that after a good meal of spaghetti, Diva is able to have a mere negative 2 billion health. Some of you may recognize this number. The actual health value is above 4 billion. To explain it simply, the health bar just cannot hold this high of a number, so it bugs out. That's nice and all, but we can do better than that. I discovered that we can multiply the health by 5 by simply increasing the health in the hero settings, giving us around 20 billion health. Again, that's nice and all, but we can still do better than that. I concluded that D.Va is not just a plate of spaghetti, but the entire industry. If D.Va respawns outside of a spawn room, let's just say like in deathmatch, her health will be amplified again, bringing the total to a fancy 575 billion health. With our new bullet sponge, we can do the tests again. Another thing we can do in custom games that I haven't mentioned is we can have a team contain 24 total heroes. In this case, 23 on one team. 21 Baptiste, 1 Zenyatta, and I. Using all the methods mentioned earlier, as well as being accompanied by our new friends, our total goes up to about 106 billion. That's a good amount of damage. But that is only about one-fifth of the health of our diva. With this much health, we can do better than this. Before we get to our new method though, we should investigate another method of dealing a lot of damage. I want to quickly talk about environmental damage. You would think that this would be our go-to option now, but interestingly, environmental damage seems to be capped. Despite her massive health, we only deal 1 million damage. Even more interestingly, increasing the damage dealt in settings will up the damage, but damage received will not. Damage boost from Mercy and Ana can push this even further. If we add everything together, environmental damage caps out at 900 million. So, unfortunately for Frogman, he gets to sit this one out. Fortunately, however, we have another way, which I briefly mentioned at the beginning. Our good friend Sigma. Sigma's ultimate can deal 50% of its target's max health. Sounds fantastic for this, right? Pop quiz! What is 50% of 575 billion? Wrong. 400,000. Yeah, I... <laughs> I don't really know either. Either way, this is still better. 400k is a lot higher than 1560. Another benefit is the difference in their attack. Cassidy can only deal damage to one target at a time, which is not too great for us in this situation. Sigma, on the other hand, will deal damage to all targets at once, essentially adding another multiplication based on how many targets we have. So, without further ado, let's do it. We use our ultimate against the 23 Divas, bringing our final total to... Uh... Let's come back to this situation some other day. Fortunately for us, there is another with this type of ability. Sombra with her ultimate, EMP. EMP works similarly to Gravitic Flux. It deals 40% of current health of its target. Pop quiz. What is 40% of 575 billion? It's actually correct this time. This makes things a lot easier, doesn't it? This means that we will only need to boost damage by 250% to deal 100% of their health as damage. Nice. So, a short recap. We are able to have 23 dummy bots at one time, each one of them with 575 billion health. This would mean that our grand total will be around 13 trillion, right? And not really. Because we can do better than that. So a uh, quick story time. While editing this upcoming part, I wanted to confirm the numbers to make sure everything is right. 
Because I also kind of wanted to explain how it works, but um... Eh? The amount of health that was supposed to be 20 billion is now 1.7 trillion. But that's not all. If we do the bug again... What? 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 We now have 287 trillion total health. I did not change anything. How did this happen? Blizzard must have broke something again. Heck if I know, but I'll take it. Anyway, this takes us back to this theory. 23 dummy bots, now all with 287 trillion health, bringing the grand total to 6.6 .6 quadrillion damage. Is this the amount of damage we're going to get? Uh, still no. I first need to explain how this health glitch works. Don't worry, I'll make it very simple. We can give the diva a number. Let's say three. Depending on how big this number is, it will determine how much total health they will have. This number can go up to 48 which, in the end, gives us this big number. I really wanted to explain how this magic part works, but ever since the numbers multiplied again somehow, it's just pure spaghetti for me. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this number is where our problems come from. We need to give all 23 divas this number, bringing the total to 1,104. Unfortunately, if we go somewhere above 820, the servers will become unstable. For example here, because the number is too high, the server crashes instantly, even before I do anything. So, what do we do? Fortunately, not for me, it's quite simple actually. Damage ideal is very jumpy. Yes. I got this number with about an hour of attempts. The quality is really bad, but it is 5.983 quadrillion. So, I have a mission. Because we're so close, I need to get 6 quadrillion. But it's not going to be so easy. Something silly happens nearly every time. Even if I don't change anything, the server crashed like 95% of the time before I could deal damage. Each time with a chance of some interesting stuff happening. The times we don't crash, I either get no damage, or some number close to my goal, but not quite there. Seemingly random. So we just go again and again and hope for the best, which is what I did for like two hours. But finally, we did it. After a grueling montage, low quality again, but our final total being 6 quadrillion, 8 trillion, 304 billion, 739 million, 121,162. I think we can finally say that's a lot of damage! So, to end it off, can we get more damage? Probably, yes. At least with my method, if you increase the values and reinvent insanity, you can probably go higher by quite a bit or not much at all. I don't know. It's at the mercy whether or not the servers crash. That's pretty much it. Thank you very much for sticking with me this far. I really hope you enjoyed. Good night, friends. But wait, we can still do better than that. What if we attack more than once? Maybe next time.